Hello everyone and welcome back to your channel Technical Sahil. In today's video, we are going to see how we can install and set up AA panel on Ubuntu 22.04. AA panel is a user-friendly web hosting control panel that works on a freemium model. This means it's free to use but some features are paid. It's an excellent tool for managing web servers offering functionalities like one-click software installations, system monitoring, and security enhancements. Let's see how to get started with AA panel. I have already logged in to show you a quick demo of its features so you can get a quick look at how does it dashboard look like when you install it on your server. It has a nice clean dashboard which shows the details without covering the max screen layout. Plus it has a sidebar which seems like a powerhouse of its features. You can add websites, FTP, WP toolkit which is the latest upcoming feature in the cPanel as well. Databases, Docker, Docker management, uh, monitoring like we do in the Immunify in some control panels by purchasing Immunify plugin so we can do it for free here security measures WAF files manager the best part is its file manager when you edit a file it seems like you are editing the code you are writing the code in the sublime text editor I'll show you once we install it on our server it is a terminal cron jobs app store which is a very important thing and some settings we'll see all these features one by one but first Let's see how we can install it on our server. I am using this domain name. This is a, a fresh domain I have recently purchased to show you the demonstration of the things like we do in our videos. We first need to go to the advanced DNS of this domain. It has some records already. So let me delete all these to avoid any kind of conflict with our records in the future. It is clean. Now let's deploy a server here. I am using DigitalOcean Droplet. This does not matter because we are just trying to implement the demonstration which I am going to show in this video. So you can choose any server provider of yourself. So it was just a matter of instant deployment and deletion. That's why I have choose this type of platform. So click create and droplets I am selecting the New York region data center one from here we are selecting Ubuntu uh, 22.04 I am going with the uh, premium Intel NVMe disk because I want when I execute any of the commands so it will execute as fast as possible because it helps us to save some time while creating the video so I am going with this machine the requirements can be matched with this machine even this machine as well so you can choose the server specifications according to your own password I have already created a strong password here so let me copy it and paste it i hope it will take yeah it has passed all the checks uh, the name i am giving it server dot the same domain name and now let's create droplet We get an IP address here. What we need to do is first, uh, let's click here. Yeah, it has started, created. Now let's copy the IP from here. Uh, go to advanced DNS, add new record. At the rate, basically we are pointing the domain with the server in advance so that it will propagate in the meantime we are installing the AA panel the 
this is for the host name like i have given the host name here server that's why i am giving the uh, value here server host name but if in your case you have given something else so you need to paste the same value here rest three are the fix you need to add it as it is and click save changes now we get an ip here let's copy the ip and open the ssh client i am using putty in this case We have logged into our server now let's follow this guide i will provide the same link in the description of this video so that you can also follow the same guide the first thing is we need to update the pre-installed system packages that comes with our newly deployed server so we need to run this command next is we need to install the wget in some of the systems it's come by default installed but uh, in such cases we need to install it first manually like this it was already there now we need to run this command and now we need to execute this bash file which we have downloaded from the official AA panel website If you don't want to change the root directory to the www, you can simply type y and press enter. Now it has started installing the AA panel. It may take some time, so till then we have to wait. It has successfully installed the AA panel and it has given us the web URL, web address and also the username and password it has generated. So first let's copy the URL and open it in a new tab. Now this is the username. And this is the password and click login the installation was successful but we still need to install some more things like at the runtime and when we run the command it won't install these things like lamp stack, lomp stack, limp stack. I have already explained all these things in the separate videos. If you want, if you wish to check out, I will provide the link in the description below. But for now, it is asking for either Apache server or the NGIC server. It does not have a open light speed for now. So we need to select either this or this. It is recommended this. So we will also go with this except these two things also we need to install mail server and dns server we are getting ngix 1.24 uh, mysql 5.7 php which is latest 8.3 and ftpd php my admin and dns server mail server and make sure to select the fast as compared to compiled and click this one click button request on installation has been added now again we have to wait for i guess 5 to 10 minutes so let's wait till this finishes off
so it has installed the uh, ngeek server completely and there is no task pending as it's shown currently no task so let's close this and we can skip this because we are using the free version also we can update from here by clicking here update and we can we have an option to log in and update to the premium model from its free model but currently the feature it's providing in the free panel i guess it's enough for you if you are using personally but if you are using some uh, for professional purposes then you must check out their pro plans and you can fix the issues uh, which is currently headlined at the dashboard by clicking this button but currently all fine so it does not have any issue and if you wish to restart the server you can proceed by clicking here let's it's showing the load status cpu utilizations ram usage and lots of things like overview it has no websites currently no ftp no databases so let's add a website here first to add a website we need to click it here there are no websites so we first need to we first need to select the php project node.js project or the proxy project so in general cases we have majority of cases we have php projects but if you have a node.js requirement you can click here and create a node.js project first we need to click uh, node.js to initiate the node.js project but right now we have a php project so let's click add a website now here you can create a site one by one through batch create you can create websites in bulk means multiple websites at once and wordpress deploy if your website on wordpress you can install the wordpress right from here so we have a normal basic php website we'll provide the domain name here and it has taken the description which is fine and it has created the red, uh, path for our website if you wish to change you can change it by clicking here ftp we don't want to create for now even database php we are getting 8.3 and site category is default category which is the only option we can select so click confirm now we get a, a site ready and status is running so if we visit uh, this url to check congratulations the site is created successfully so it's the pay message coming from this index html so let's edit the website once go to the files and this is the website technical style dot in we are getting that congratulation page from uh, this index dot html so let's edit this now that's the proper code editor uh, interface it has like we got the exact type of interface in sublime text editor if you have used it uh, you will get to know what i am talking about so it's a complete it's the best you can say online text editor i have ever saw inside the web hosting control panel so let's remove all the css and let's also remove this uh, let's make it simple and short container and let's delete all these and click save now again if we visit this page you can see we have made the changes and it's reflecting so that's how we can edit or replace the files from here 
the thing is if we want to create FTP we can create it from here if we miss that time while creating the website similarly in case of database docker I think docker management is included in their premium version yeah please start the docker docker also we need to install so but yeah it's providing the in the free version as well monitoring services uh, you can use if you have a like you want a load balancer in your particular website so you can see the downtime and the log details through here and security if you want to do some uh, port changes firewall changes TCP UDP and most importantly SSH like uh, let me log in into terminal first to show you the thing we need to provide the password here only password remember don't change the IP and a port and the username and click login we have logged in successfully but in some of the cases the many AA panel users face the problem while creating the terminal there was a problem in their I guess it's a 7 version 7 point something there was a problem in the terminal in their 6.8 I guess or 6.9 so the problem the solution of that problem was uh, to go to the security and SSH and just enable this and key login we have currently disabled means it is disabled by default so let me show you the key login as well click here and confirm and now click the key view copy this exact key and uh, let me copy manually because I don't think it has copied now again go to the terminal uh, let's click this IP 127.0.0.1 it's a local host IP because we are currently working in a, uh, inside the server so local host IP static IP would be fine username root password this time I am providing the private key because we have currently enabled and now without providing anything just click submit so we have logged in through key as well so that was the problems if you are facing the problem in the terminal either with the password or key that's the area you need to enable or disable it rest are the things cron jobs uh, logs we already saw many times uh, it's the same thing like we have in the C panel or Plesk or webmin any other control panel that's the same thing it will the script you set here it will auto run at a time of which you define in that script like a particular piece of code I want to execute in every five minutes doesn't matter the server has logged in or not so we can do these things uh, via cron job like we set the frame we set the frame and it will automatically reschedule the execution of that program and the logs also we can see the activities on our server through logs this is the main section app store we got some apps uh, some free apps some paid apps uh, let me show you the free apps like ngix we have already installed and it's asking us for website uh, speed which is currently like a light speed we can say the cyber panel in the cyber panel we get light speed this is the same kind of thing for AA panel Apache it is asking us for install because we have installed ngix instead of that Apache so that's why it's uninstalled PHP versions we can install uninstall by our choice the main thing I want to show is the mail server like if we go to the settings click confirm you can see the host name is also invalid let's click first repair server dot technical sahil dot com and click ok it has repaired now it is asking us for redis install without this we can't submit to the mail server environment 
so for this first let's close and install this redis click confirm uh, we have to wait for a minute Redis has been installed on our server. Now what we need to do is click on the settings, performance tuning and copy the same password. We can provide the different password as well. But the main thing is provide a password here and click save. And we can simply close that. And when we click settings here in the mail server, this time you will see it has passed all the checks and click submit Now we can simply add a domain name and we can simply create the email users. So after that we got some more records when we add a domain name like MX, SPF, DKIM which we need to add one by one. And that's for the email service. And rest are the things like in settings. We got some settings like enabling IPv6, uh, developer mode, API and some more things like changing the username and password uh, panel SSL basic authentication Google authenticator strong password generator these kind of options changing the ports default ports that was the global and these were the sectionized categorized settings so that's all about this AA panel these are the features we got so we have already we have seen some important settings the rest are the things like which is optional to use you can check it out if you have installed it according to your use case but these were the things which was majorly to look for so that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching it till the end